I want to read out of the Gospel of John just real quick here. Chapter 7, verses 37 and 38. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the Scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And the reason I wanted to read that is to give a picture, obviously, that's why I'm here, of living waters. And I also wanted to express what the process of memorizing the Scriptures does. Because our when we memorize things, it does not. It's not like a hard drive on a computer where you only got so many gig, and when it's used up, it's used up, and you got to get another one. No, God has made us so that our memory is a living thing, a growing thing. But like everything else that we have, if we don't use it, we will lose it. So the more scripture that is memorized, the more you take to heart God's Word for God to reveal Himself to you, the more capacity to receive is given. So I wanted to make this little video and just throw it in amongst the memorization videos just to let you know. Does memorization take time? Yes, it does. It does for me. Does Is memorization something that is difficult to do? Well, for me it is. But look at the rewards of it. Because once it is settled in your heart, God and His Word bring that avenue of life by His Spirit into a point of reality that you don't really get any other way. So I encourage you, as you can tell that I've done in my posts, take God's Word and begin to memorize it. The places that God is touching your heart, take the time. Map out a plan. Sit down. Take the time. Get it established in your heart. And just watch and see what God does. It's not a matter of quoting it to get our way. It's a matter of seeking out God in His heart and meshing with it so that He can move your heart. He does mine. Rivers. Out of His belly shall flow rivers of living water. And when it's talking about the belly, it is meaning out of the very center of who we are, out of the very core of our being, shall flow rivers of living water.